Hi guys. So we're starting uh, <clears throat> our armoire. We call it her mother line now. I think it suits her really well. We're gonna work with mother line today and we're gonna put uh, another coat of paint on it. So I decided to go with Muscatine wine by this Dixie Belle. Uh, so let's go. Let's go. Just gonna do piece after piece. Uh, make sure you don't overwork the paint. You don't want to press too hard. <clears throat> Just lightly, light strokes. Because if we work too hard on this, we're gonna go all the way to the bottom and we don't want that. I don't want to cover everything, I just want to coat a little bit of that basket wine here. Not even blending it yet. Just putting it on. Lighting. Light strokes, really, really light. Again, this is just another coat. This is not everything that we're gonna be putting on it. I don't want to um, cover that orange entirely. I want to be able to see it. I want it to be taken through lightly, gently. That's why I took such a small brush because I want to be able to have a control of it. It's like really, really lightly pressing on it. We already have a base. We have the prime color, which is <clears throat> orange. So you don't have to worry about, um, you know, not covering everything the right way because everything is covered already. Now we're just playing with the color and it's up to you what you're gonna do with it. I do have a blending brush. I might be using it later, but when I put a third color on. just want to <clears throat> touch it like feathers. You don't want to rub it really hard, just slightly. Very delicately. Very, very lightly touch it. A lot of people tell me that um, when they put a second coat with a lot of water, <clears throat> they're scratching everything. They, they can see um, uh, original wood. Uh, what happened was probably <clears throat> the um, prime wasn't dry enough or not enough prime, not enough um, uh, the, uh, the prime coat, the first coat was diluted too much, the paint. Uh, of course, it's easier to, um, to apply when the uh, paint is diluted, but you cannot do that. The first coat has to be a all paint. Whichever paint you use, Dixie Belle, Annie Sloan, DIY, any paint you use, don't dilute it for the first coat when you, when you use this technique. This is what we're talking about.
I really love the way this comes out. I have no idea what this is going to look like when we're done. But I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oops. This happens all the time. Let's look at it. No, I have to finish the top. Okay, so now we're gonna try to put a third coat. That's flamingo. Flamingo uh, from Dixie Bell as well. Let's see what's gonna happen. I don't know if you can see now all the orange that wasn't painted beyond those looks, on those, you know, not too much because we don't want too much, but when I'm looking up close, I can see uh, orange coming through and uh, when it dries, it should be more noticeable. I really love the way that starts looking now. So we had a little, I mean, I had a little accident. I don't know what happened. I was recording and wasn't recording at all. So step forward we have some blue but I don't like everything I like everything but I don't like everything so I have to retouch some of this and then I'm gonna go back and show you how I did the blue basically it was too much water blue and orange turn into some kind of weird um green and we don't want that at least i don't think it goes here thanks to julia she noticed that i wasn't recording anything i love the green i love the blue i mean but um i really don't want uh, blue and green here so i have to patch it up a little bit then I have to touch up and then I have to touch up uh, uh, I have to do more green blue uh, blah, blah, blah. see I have to do more green more blue the wax that I put um, dried too much uh, you really should not wait too long maybe an hour or so I think I waited a couple of more hours and um, it dry well way too much but if you decide to do the same thing you can start right away really with the uh, thank you. so basically I'm covering uh, with the spots where wax didn't blend and where I think I put too much 
too much uh, glue. I have two more colors in mind. I want the red and copper. Because remember, we're going to have those knobs here. I'm gonna turn them, I'm gonna paint them in copper too with copper. So we need a little copper. Some areas are perfect, some areas just turn green. That's uh, completely normal. Sometimes we don't know what to expect and we have to bring back some original colors. It's art. And I guess you're gonna expect it. Paint, painting with water, distressing with water is really cool, but you just have to find the right proportion not to turn and the paint into a mud. This is brush to blend. This is four inches um, bristle, so really good for blending. I still need a little blue. I missed a few spots. Just like that, really not much. At the tip of the French brush. Well, now I just have to look and see if you like it. Still have a lot, um, a lot to, uh, to do. We have to um, Put one more color. I'm thinking about hunky tonk red, and then I have to sand it, and then I have to uh, give it a good sand with a very high grid, and then I have to put um, copper, or maybe at uh, first I have to put copper, then I have to sand, and then I'm gonna put waxes, probably black and maybe some white. I don't know yet. I'm gonna start with black. Try to um, soften the lines, the strokes. Now our red, and this is just gonna be a tiny bit. Let's see. Gonna. Have your clients or your family, whoever's gonna look at your piece, whoever's gonna look at it and who's gonna wonder which color came first? What did she do? What did he do with it? How did he come come with those ideas? How he come up with them? Really a feather strokes, feather touch. What are you gonna call this? Hardly putting anything on the brush. And this is that uh, 99 cent shape uh, brush I'm using for those kind of work. I don't know if you can see the red, but trust me, it's there. Furniture look amazing uh, with the eye, with the real, you know, in the real moment. On the uh, camera, it doesn't look as good. I often hear, oh my God, I had no idea. This is so beautiful. You probably don't, don't even, I'm not sure if after check later you can really see what I'm doing now, you can see the red. I love it. I really think this popping crazy. It's 
so unusual, it's so different. I love this technique. I mean, I mix different techniques together. This is dry brushing now. I have two pieces that belong to that uh, girl, Madeline. They were um, two side tables. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go do it in a br uh, dry brush technique. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna marry them. I'm not gonna do the same thing. I'm going to completely change something. And um, so they won't be matching. What are you guys thinking? Is it uh, too much red already or it's cool? I like it. It's not gonna be that visible after we sand it and we put down wax. Of course, um, you still be able to see it, but just a lot of detail here. Say I'm tired. I have to take a break. So I'm gonna let this dry. I love the way this looks here. It's just amazing though. I love it. So I'm planning on painting the inside with a surprise color. Do you think you know what color is it going to be? What color will go nice here inside the cabinet? At least what I'm thinking. What color would go in my opinion. You know me a little bit so you know that I like the colors to pop. And it be unexpected. It's definitely not going to be um, something light. I don't think so. Tomorrow I'm going to look in a better light, whatever I don't see now, I'm going to see tomorrow. It's going to look different when we put the wax on it, for sure. But it's al it already has a lot of character. And I have to pay, pay, pay on top of where I left the bottle. Okay, thank you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe on my YouTube channel, YouTube channel, so I can keep going. Peace.